Hello everyone and welcome to Stonehive. So we're back in our town and we got a lot of building nowadays and I'm gonna work a little bit today on one of our new buildings that we have over here. So over here we have a tall building that I designed recently but we do have a lot of work to be done on the inside. So we're gonna focus a bit on that today. And we're also building a few palisades. And another thing we're going to do soon is also to make a gate that's going to be most likely aligned with um, a bridge over here. It do not have to be, but it might look kind of nice to have it down here. Or we will do it at the side of it. We will see. But we will have a gate here that's going to be like a very, very defensive position as well. Another thing was to suggest was to mine out the meteorite down here. That has crashed down to the ground and that could be interesting. A gift from the sky, what wonders here lie. So I'm gonna mine this one down. Let's take a few steps down. Something like that. There we go. And another thing before we get uh, started with working on this building. I promoted a person in the previous episode to become an engineer. So we need to make some workbenches and uh, get my engineer working to level up. And we also have to make sure, like Dan has said in the comments as well, make sure that we queue up to do single crafted iron ingots and so on so we can level that up because that was limited to the master blacksmith. But now we're gonna train up a new apprentice to become a good one. So, the engineer. They can make turrets. They can make some ranged weapons like crossbows. Then we have the turrets and really, really powerful crossbow. 42 in the damage, not fast but strong. Powerful mechanical weapon that pierces through armor. This is a really strong, powerful weapon. And then we also have defensive traps like the critter trap. And it also stuns the targets for a little bit, but these are fairly weak. These ones, however, are really strong. And we can also put out some decoy trap. This will distract the enemies with an extra halfling. Wait, is this a halfling, right? Merce Splinter Hands is very threatening. And a cocoa bomb, which we're probably not gonna do. And then we also have some pretty cool things if you want to work with water, with uh, water gates, pumps, and bigger water gates, and a few different doors that we can lock and so on. And this one we might be using for our gate, the large bronze port cut. It's pretty cool. So let's get started with the engineer. I think we're gonna start first with making, I guess, a couple of bronze gears. Why not? So let's queue up to do 10 of those. And we can do a few with iron as well. And what do we need to make this one? The turnip shooter, I think I'm just gonna skip that one and go straight to the turret. And uh, this one we need steel ingot, then we need the gears. So I want to make, let's say, let's start with four of those. And I also want to make some clamp traps, so that's also steel and some gears. And let's start with six of those. And I guess we can do a few of these just for leveling. We can maybe do two crossbows. We can always sell them if we're not gonna use them. And uh, can do some critter traps and uh, this one just for leveling. So I have a few things to do. And water gates, why not? Because I might use them. And uh, let's make two pumps as well. So that should keep our engineer busy for a while. So let's see if we have the workbench. There we go. Use the button near to create the gadgets, okay. So this one will go into... I'm gonna put it down by the harbor for now. I think most professions that do not have their own home yet is gonna be down by the harbor. And later on we will move them somewhere else or a better place. Oh yeah, the empty fermentation carboy. I don't think I have any one of those put out yet. So let's go and look inside with x-ray vision, we're down here we're doing some vinegar, but for now we're gonna put these as well. So these we can make uh, mead and vinegar. So I'm gonna just put them up here. There we go, we also have a few more of those, I don't think we have to put them out for now. And then yeah, here we have some herbal tea. The thing with the herbal tea is that you have to put it out in the world. And then they will go and grab a drink, so I'm gonna put that out as well. And yeah, we do have a mission to upgrade all of our beds, so we will see when that's gonna be possible. But for these drinks, what we can do 
is that we can, for example, can drop them on tables or we can have them sitting on a block or something and they will fetch the drinks from that one. Ah, we can even put it on top of these actually. I think that actually works as well. It might look a little bit strange to have it on top of these with the food. There's Ah, that's going to be floating. Not very good. But yeah, let's put it on some tables. Here we go. Then they can grab some delicious drinks from that. That's awesome. Dale update. Okay, food is still going up. Oh, more time. Okay, awesome. Sasha, the envoy of Clan Amberstone. We have need of an experienced blacksmith for two days to help us with forging new and digging equipment. Would you be willing to spare someone? We'll provide supplies and they will be an honored guest in the warren. I want to do that, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing it for now. So, Elias, my only blacksmith for now, we're going to wait with that. We have some real, real happy people. Whoa, I couldn't be happier. That's awesome. I guess because we celebrated recently, right? Yeah, that's some good bonuses, but we have a lot of bonuses. Even had a good dream. Okay, nice. I see we still have to do some upgraded equipment to make them perform better at our jobs. Because uh, we can make better tools for that. Yes, looks like there's still quite a few that we can upgrade, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, the blacksmith can wait with that. But also into the blacksmith, so the things that we can't do this one until we reach level 6. So what we have to do is to add um, a crafting order to do iron ingots. Normal ones. Let's make like 15, that's level 2, this one is level... Let's see, what level was that? Level 4 or something? Level 6, okay, yeah. That's very, very far away. And we have to do some crafting, basically, to be able to get there. And I think we need one of these, so... Let's make some of those. Ooh! Frostfeast Gold Candle Hold, that's beautiful. I think I've never seen this one. That's a good one, I'm gonna make two of those. Two normal candles. So that's gonna be great, and we can do some of these coffee pots, why not? Pewter pitcher, yes please. A teapot. All these together we're gonna be able to level up quite quite far. And uh, queue up to do 50 more of those because we may need that later on. And 15 of these. And yeah, maybe we can upgrade some tools. So I did see that we had this one. But I wonder if you have this one. I don't think we do. And then we're gonna need two saws as well for the carpenters. And uh, two spindles as well when we can do so. There we go. So we're gonna win wait with sending our blacksmith over. That's pretty good. It's growing really good here. And we do have uh, some saplings we can put out if we want to. Actually, I wonder if it can stunt the growth at this size that we see here. It would be kind of beautiful to have small trees like this, wouldn't it? So, let's try that out and see if it works or not. So I'm thinking that we put it... ...like that. And the same over here. And then we will stunt the growth as fast as we can. We also have some pine trees, I'm not gonna put those. And we also have a Highline Vine Starter. These are really cool. And um, maybe put down here by the gate. And this will start growing on the gate. And we can have it side at the mountain there as well. It's cl it kind of climbs up over there, so it's going to be beautiful. And we did buy some Fox Lilies. So this is something we can also put in here at our little park as well. But we only have two of those. And yeah, we did buy some of these, so that, those can also be nice. We can actually have them centered like that if you want to. I'm gonna look into that, we're gonna work with it later. But now we're gonna focus on the building like I said, this one. Ooh, it seems we're getting all kinds of ores from the meteorite, that's cool. Got some gold, got some iron. So let's mine out a little bit more. And then we're gonna get to designing the inside of our building. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this one and put it somewhere else, I think. 
Uh, maybe it can work here. It's a little bit easier to see on the inside when it would be in a different spot. But let's start first with hiding the roof. So click that one. There we go. Now we can look through it. So the first thing I want to do is to change the floor on the inside. So I want this to be an, um, I think, a wooden floor. So go to that one perhaps. Uh, maybe a bright one. Maybe that one. I think the other one, like this one, matches the walls too much. There we go. That's pretty good. So then we have the door. We also have the carve out here. I think that should be fine. Let's have a look. Yep, that's fine. Uh, but however, we may go like that. And uh, then I think we may recolor a little bit. So we we'll take that one, color it like so. Then maybe we we'll get inside of here and then like that. It could even be a little bit bigger and then we we'll go down there. Maybe we go down at the sides. Yeah, that's pretty beautiful. I like that. That's look good to me. So let's hide the above and focus on downstairs first. We need to have the stairs to get up, so I think it's a good idea to decide where we can have them pretty early on. So I'm gonna take one of the corners and that's where we can have the staircase. I think so at least. However, let's look above. So we're only gonna actually get up there, right? And we also can decide, do we even want to get up there? Because having a ladder to go up there might not be too good. But at the same time, we might want to be able to use that spot. So I think we will actually make sure we can use it. So I think the way that I'm gonna do with the staircase, I'm gonna have it in the corner here, but I'm gonna have it kind of like go out into the room. Let's give that a try. Starting from the corner over here and slowly progressing towards the middle and hopefully it's not gonna be too much in the way and we don't have to do it like this we cannot go with a, like a, a ladder hatch and a ladder it really depends on how we want to have it but I think this is actually fine yeah the cases can be kind of nice to have around so let's see how we want to open this up so maybe like that I think that's pretty good that allows us to get up here and I think this should be a bedroom or we can turn this into like a profession house because we're lacking a lot of different profession houses and who could live here it maybe it could be like an maybe the herbalist could live here if we had a lot more like flower decorations and so on we can grow some things outside I don't know or we do another different profession Maybe there could be some soldiers living in this one, some highly ranked soldier. I think we do it that way for this one. So we're looking for a bed and we're gonna go for a fancy one. The fur bed, I think that one is pretty fancy and it fits very well with our Vikings, I think. And we should we do it a two man bedroom? I'm just gonna do it a single one, should I? Would be scared to sleep here. Imagine sleeping here and just falling down the staircase. <laughs> that would be scared times. Uh, but yeah, I think I do a single bed and uh, I think we might do another floor actually. I see we're missing a block here for some reason, so um, there we go. What we can do here is to tag this as a wall so we get in here and then we, like I said, we want, might want to get up here as well. So. I'm thinking that we take and make another floor above here and one way we can do that, I think it's gonna work here, is that we remove one layer. Take the road tool and put it like so. Then we can easily get a texture like that. However, it did change the outside but I don't think that's a big of a problem. We can just recolor the new colored parts. So there we go. So what we do then, let's make sure everything is recolored though. Then we'll add a, like a ladder hatch and you can get the ladder hatch if you have an ace mod you will get some ladder hatches that can open up just like a door pretty much. 
And I think it should be fine to have it there, but we might might want to have it over there. Because here we have three in height, which is what is required for Harfling to stand. And walk there. So that's important, very important. And then we just add a ladder, and since we have Ace mod, there's actually ladders that you can add here, and we can attach it to the wall in the back over here. So that way we can get up on this on top. And you know, we could have another bedroom, it could be a storage. I think I might go for a bedroom though. Because we need more beds. So maybe these could be some... Um, maybe this could be a little work area. Yeah, let's make some desk, like, make this like into like a little creative place. Maybe to sit up here by the windows and do a little bit of work. It would be, you know, to have like a recreational room or something like that. I feel like that's a good idea. Not everything has to be like useful. Something can be like imaginary as well. And then maybe an ornate dresser and it does not have to be only clothes in this one, I think. It could be other things too. It could be some documents or something inside of it. And maybe we can have that over here. So it's kind of blocking the windows a tiny, tiny bit, but it looks kind of fine, I think. Yeah, that's totally fine. So that's pretty cool. And we definitely want to have more things when I decorate it, so let's get maybe some uh, rugs. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, look at this one. Moss rug made of plant matter in honor of fern. So this is something we got because we have this one. We might add that outside, it could also be nice. Ah, I almost want to have it here. That looks beautiful. Very nice, I like it. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, and maybe some... Yeah, plushy toy rabbit, why not? We want to make it a little bit cute. Even though they are Vikings, they can also have cute things, right? <laughs> that might break the cuteness, but um, I don't know. I want to have a flower pot. A simplest herblet pot. And uh, we can grow flowers in these. So I'm gonna have... Let's see, where do I wanna have them? Maybe by this win these windows. Like that. Maybe we can a couple of different ones, an entire row maybe. And let's see here, we need to have a supply of tea up here. That's a decorative one though. So I think I have to add the, the drink later on. But you can imagine that we would be putting one up here. And I might just put it here and replace it later, just to be remembered to have one here later on. So this one will be very handy, close by to the work desk. So that's gonna be great. And let's look into more things. Oh yeah, we need some candle. The blacksmith later on we can make those, but maybe for now we can do... I kinda like these candle holders, they're kinda nice. This one's also pretty good though. However, I feel like it's a bit too big. Yeah, let's go for a stone candle holder. In every corner we have one. That's gonna be nice, that's gonna look great. I'm gonna give a lot of light in here. Then maybe we can have like a little basket for holding some food. Yeah, maybe some cookies, that could be nice. A little cookie basket. And we can also change the color for this one, I like the green one. Yeah, I kinda like the green one, I'm gonna have cookies in that one. And maybe, maybe... We could have a fireplace up here. So maybe there's a small chimney. So that would be on that one. Let, let's just drag it up to see how that could be. It's kind of nice to have some smoke and so on. I feel like it creates an interesting feel to the place. And we can have it in the very corner because this one they don't really put any fire to get it started, I think. Uh, however, I want to remove... Um, a few of these pots over here because they're a little bit too close to the fire. So I think I'm just gonna go free in the middle like so. And then we're also gonna recolor this one. However, do we see it? If we see it from the outside, I think we actually do. Um, I was thinking that changing that to be like um, a stone color. Mm, 
Okay. But we can do it over here at least. And we can all even use the big one if we want to, but I think the big one might be a bit too much. I think so. However, I don't think this... Do this one provide any light? I don't think it do. We do have one down here, right? So it that does not actually provide any light. So for that reason... I may want to use the one from... Um, the Nordling Kingdom, like this one. Because this one actually provides some good, good light. That's gonna make it really cozy in here as well. And maybe protect the walls a little bit, like so. And I don't think we have to make a hole, I'm gonna leave it like that. And we can pretend it's just going through a little hole in the top. That's gonna be really cozy, I think. And we don't have to make it much bigger than this, really. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Let's go downstairs again. And I feel like this place, now that we decorated so much up there, we can need some more decoration here. Maybe a little shield by the wall. Quick access. When you get ready for battle, if someone is invading your little home, maybe. That could be nice. And here we have the long stag banner. Hmm. I wonder how they would look if you have them on the outside. I feel like they would be really nice if we have like an... Maybe a herbless later on. Ah, I think they might work pretty good there. What do you guys think? Let me know if I should have the banners there or not. I think they look pretty nice there. It could be nice with some banners, you know? Let's go on the inside again. Ooh, a frost feast plushie. Uh, if I'm gonna share this one, I can't really use that one. So we're gonna go with the ordinary plushie, and that's gonna make it more beautiful. And let's see here, dresser. Can I have a little dresser in the back over here, that's gonna be nice. A candle on the wall, like so. And I think that might be enough for that. So downstairs, what do we wanna have down here? We could turn this into like an... Um, it could actually be like a tavern. I don't feel like this looks like a tavern. Like a baker or something. But it could be in, like we could have prepared food in the back and so on. I guess we can have something there. Maybe we'll elevate the, the floor a bit. Like so. And then we can maybe have some production. I'm gonna look into some uh, productions. Let's see. I wish this big. Uh, I wish this window was, was a lot bigger. It's kind of hard to look through what's here. It's very tiny and minimal. And there's like really hard to look what you got inside. Not very very good design, I would say. So, um, metal cooking pot, let's see, can we have that one in here? Yes, we can. However, it seems I can't have it right next to the corner over there. Let's see, why is that? I can't really see a reason why that shouldn't be possible. Now it works, okay, that's weird. It was probably trying to put it somewhere else. Okay, then we have that one, and uh, brick oven, reaching high temperature for high pellets, require lower or good grade, grade fuel. The brick oven... Is that for the cook? Okay, it is. Um, I mean, I guess we can do some good cooking in here, why not? Yeah, I guess it could be like a little cook place. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, I'm gonna recolor the floor down here, but not having this one elevated. So maybe something like that, and then we put the brick oven down here. And here we have a uh, leaving table, where we can leave some doughs. And I think I would have that down here in the corner. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. 
We have to do a little bit of uh, extra textures down here. We're going pretty simple with it. Okay, there we go. And uh, mill grinder. I guess we can have that here as well. But we don't have to, I guess. Let's see for the cook what things we need. It's a little bit easier to look in here, I would say. So, stone cooking pot. I think this one replaces that one. Yeah, it does. Okay. That replaces the stone oven, which means we don't need this one. However, we might need a cook table. Yeah, cook table. So we need this one down here. However, this one, I think that might be a good idea to have... Maybe down here. Yeah, let's go with like that. And uh, that, this also gives rooms for some shelves. We can have some good, good storage for holding things. So here we can put some things we need to have when we're doing like a bit of cooking. And I'm gonna have a lot of that. And I also want to have some of these. This is where we drop newly crafted foods on. So it's probably gonna smell delicious from inside of here. And we can spread them around on the inside here a little bit, I think. And we can have them like one over there as well. And maybe one of these to throw in some things as well. So that's pretty good. And we definitely need some lights down here. So that's gonna be real nice, I think. And I think we may add a few more things as we go with this one. So maybe we don't start with everything, but add it over time. And let's see, I think we may need to remove that. There we go. We don't... I don't think we even need that, so let's remove that. There we go. So that could be a nice little place for a cook to work, and maybe that could be the master chef living here. Just one bedroom, so it would be the master cook, I guess. And everyone else just comes over to do a bit of work. And we leave it pretty open in the middle. Uh, but uh, maybe we can have some rugs and uh, some more decorations to make it beautiful. So let's have a couple of flowers here again. Some shields to make it more Vikingish, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe a cook banner on the outside would be nice. I don't know if the color fits very well with this, I don't think I'm gonna go with that one, even though it's a fancy one. It might may be good better with one of these. Yeah, let's go with this one. That's gonna be good, very nice. So that's pretty fancy, I think. And like I said, we can add a lot of things to this as we go. But we got the beginning of it, so that's nice. And maybe we can have a firewood shed outside. We can get the firewood. There we go. So I'm pretty satisfied with that one. I hope you guys like it. Let me know if I should change something before I build it, because I'm not going to start building it at the moment. But let me know if there's... Something you think I should add to it. But guys, this is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed these um, more of a building episode and um, I might be doing a few more of them. I also had an idea that maybe I will do a 
For building series, we will only focus on making buildings of all kinds of different themes and variations and so on, so there will be not only Viking, but other themes as well. And maybe I will try to make some big big monuments from real life and so on. Or from games. But guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, if you did, feel free to leave a like if you wish, and also thank you to all my members here on YouTube as well for supporting me, and I hope all of you guys are gonna have a great rest of the day, so take care everyone, and see you guys soon again.